Welcome to Discussing Dad Life, also known as DDL. This is Null on Void, where we talk about various topics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like our content. And we're queued up. We're queued. Okay, so, cute ball. so last week we listened to the American Flags. Great Tom song. Mc, Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. Great. Excellent song. I was, I was watching our episode and I was driving and, uh, <laughs> and I had it loud because, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm just listening to it loud and we're, we're a little bit quiet. I forgot to mention that to you. We might want to work on uh, uh, turning adjust, it up, adjusting our mics up slightly. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the song comes on and it just boom, boom it just hits. It's just like, I'm just like, yeah, America, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was good. It was a good time. So I, I ended up finishing off that episode, and then I went and found the song and was listening nice, to the song. Nice. So I was like, yeah, whatever. But um, what's the name of the new song? The new song is called Your America. So Tom this, McDonald and Adam Calhoun again. Okay, so they are they must be partnering up on a few of these things. I think they're doing an album, actually. Oh, are they? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, so, yeah, here's the next one. So I guess let's go ahead and get into it. They're screaming that they hate America and we're the reason If you don't feel safe then stop the funding the policemen You calling us extremists cause our words have hurt your feelings And we're sorry we can't hear you over the sound of our freedom Y'all been filling up our classrooms with drag queens for kids We think it's not appropriate to tell us that it is The complexities of gender and children won't ever mix When there's school shootings by women whose pronouns are him, his I'm not Republican but keep it a hundred they making sense The most destructive ideologies are coming from the I like how it's like I think black lives matter they think Dear Democrats, I don't have nothing against the liberal, but the people representing you are communists and criminals. They've been starting World Man, War III with shipping missiles saying. still. They don't want America great, they want it miserable. You can try to burn down the city, scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. I get you can with cancel it. everything and everybody <laughs> in it, but it's not yours. I got my first amendment, don't forget I got the second It's not your America I'm here They're right. I've never yeah. heard in life Kids go to school to learn Never make it back home, they get murdered like Who's concerned, not the left or the right Hope you ready for the fight Coming Dude, that to was your a, front door that tonight The former there. president That's got arrested The current one song. lost, but I guess he got elected Kids get molested Pedophiles all get protected And you can kill the baby anytime If you're pregnant People so weak, feel free to take a knee And you can't even speak, God forbid you disagree <laughs> I don't even know what virtual signaling means Young men used to fight wars Now they make Memes. <laughs> <laughs> sure that was good. Plan. Got a gun in my hand. He's on when point. Shit hits the fan and how the woman of the year is a man. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I never true. really understand. <laughs> you can try to burn down the city, scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it, but it's not your America. You can burn the flag, get aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend. I got my first amendment, don't forget I got the second It's not your America You told us, we're the ones to blame You're the ones who riot till the city's up in flame yep. You told us, we be spreading lies But you believe the truth is on the news every night You told us, we gotta stop the fighting But you're the ones who keep the country angry and divided You told us, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> But all of our conspiracy theories are coming true I wonder how much shit he's gonna get for this one. He got a lot of shit for the other go or for the other video. 1.5 million views one day. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 1.5 million views. Yeah, wow. Number eight on trending. Videoed by Nova Rockefeller. Dude, she does damn good video work. Yeah. I can't believe it. She she she's pretty impressive. Hey, come do our show. No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I I will just go ahead and say that was a flawless victory. Yeah, dude, they nailed it. That was a damn good song. Holy crap! Uh, wow. Um, so there so was, you think you know Wix? Do you really? Tom McDonald sitting there basically saying the exact same thing I've been saying the last yeah. couple of weeks where. Uh, the 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 leftist Democrats that are in control right now are criminal. Um, yeah, I was like, damn, that's 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 spitting facts. Spot on, dude. Um, and then uh, 
<laughs> Adam Calhoun's parts. I mean, they're, I was like, we used to fight wars and then now they're going to make memes. memes. Like, goddamn, that was hard. <laughs> Fucking do it. But they're right, man. He is right. And then, and then he, he got on the topic of, uh, the, the, um, the woman of the year is actually a man. Mm-hmm. Uh, so th- that actually does drive into a topic that, uh, kind of hits close to my heart a little bit in, which is I'm already not a huge fan of the, uh, of the um, current feminist movement. Oh uh, yeah. I, I think it's just, a reason to hate on men. It is. Uh, Honestly. I, I, I kind of support the first generation or the first wave of feminism. Oh. Where, whereas just trying to create everyone equal. Yeah. Um, they were fighting for equality. Yeah. Which I, I don't disagree with You're You're human. You know, if you yeah. want the right to vote, you can get the right to vote. I did disagree with the fact that, uh, you they know, you got the right to vote, man. but um, they don't have to do, they don't have to sign up for selective service. They have no civic requirements. No, or anything they're, like they're, that. I heard that they're trying to change that. Uh, I think I like Vivica Ramaswamy. I'm going back to him again because he, he does actually, he, he, he's does he thinking, address that topic as well. He does actually. So um, if I remember correctly, he's wanting the voting age to be 25 and he wants the voting day to be a national holiday and you have to vote in person. You have to have an ID that matches your voter record. Right. I don't okay. see a problem with that. I don't see a problem with that. Um, but then what he, he, he wants the voting age to be 25 years old. And if you want to vote before your age, 25, <clears throat> have you to take have a test, right? You either you, you're going to have to pass a civics test or not a civics test. Um, the same test that immigrants, when they're moving into the country have to pass, right? If we're expecting people to come into our country, we should also expect that from the people that are growing up in our country to understand the basics of our civil liberties, right? Fair. Uh, makes sense to me. Or you do, military service or first responder service or um, you, some form of community you, service. Yep. Yeah, some sort of civic duty. And in the reasoning he proposes all this is in order to create the sense of purpose in, in young Americans, like, Hey, let's work for a common goal of keeping our society intact. And I'm like, that's, that's good. That's bringing people together. That is a great vision to have from a typically conservative viewpoint. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, one thing the liberals, uh, the Democrats have always done better than Republicans is visionary, right? Advertise. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it like this, uh, th- there are two parts of your brain, right? Or there are two parts of life. There's order and chaos. Okay. Okay. So if you if you think of what chaos is, chaos is kind of like just being visionary. Nothing's kind of in order. It, it's just kind of nebulous, right? Yeah. And from the nebulous, sometimes you get a great idea that pops out of it. Yeah. And then if you look at order, it's all about structure. So mm-hmm. if you apply those two frameworks to the political spectrum, Democrats are visionaries mm-hmm. and conservatives typically are order. Now, in order to function properly as a human, you have this. I have this. Mm-hmm. Everyone has this. We have two parts of our brain. We have order and chaos, mm-hmm. our right hemisphere and our left hemisphere. Mm-hmm. Each specializes in different things. One's logical and one's like um, artistic, artistic, right? So you need two things of the same thing. I'm not saying we don't need a left and a right. I'm saying we need to have both, but the both need to function together. Yin and yang. Yin and yang. Or in the biblical sense, the um, when uh, Moses is being led out of the desert, right? Mm-hmm. You have the pillar of fire at yep. night, and then you have the pillar of smoke during the day that is leading him out of the desert. The desert's uh, basically like a euphemism or like uh, however you want to say it, uh, describing chaos. The mm-hmm. desert is chaos, and the city or Pharaoh is... Uh, is order right okay so but the the fire the pillar of fire during the night fire light against the black backdrop and yeah. then day light against the smoke column right yeah guiding so it's your yin, way it's yin and yang they're all the symbolism has been around forever and it's just in different formats in um Dallas, or yeah Dallas, yeah Dallas have the yin and yang so i mean what they're doing i think is very culturally relevant in bringing um Using the chaotic nature of artistic creation yeah. and applying order to it to expand it out, which is exactly what America needs. We need ordered chaos, if that makes any sense. No, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. We need a direction, man. Yep. So the right's been notoriously bad about creating a vision. They've, they've yeah. always been more reactionary and just complaining about things. Um which is why I don't think Vivek's really technically a Republican. I think he's running just like Trump was not a Republican. He was just running in the Republican because primary the Republican party is more apt to outside views than the democratic party. Yeah, they are. 
I mean, honestly, they are. Um, so I think Vivek is in the right party to get his message across. Um, I do believe he is a little bit more conservative in some of his viewpoints, but I, I, he's giving us a decent vision that will that will allow for progressive thoughts, mm-hmm. but keeping everything in order as that along the same lines. I see what you're saying. Well, so, I guess we'll see what happens, man. But I, elections like pretty much here. Yeah. That, that was a damn good song, dude. Yeah. That, I can't believe it. Um, our hats off to you, Tom McDonald. Yeah. No Mr. Crap. Calhoun. <laughs> so, I mean, keep, keeping it doing up the good work. Right. I, I like Anybody says stuff. you can't rap Calhoun. Cause I've seen that shit all over the internet. Tell him to fuck off. He's a typical white rap, right? In my opinion, I like him, yeah. but uh, I don't think he's bad. He can still do a good job. Yeah, he does do a good job. Uh, um, was it Coffins? I think is a song that he does. Oh, I don't. I think you were telling me about this. I haven't heard it yet. He, uh, I know he does the song "Racism" or whatever, racist, <laughs> uh, the racist song or whatever. Yeah. But he also does another one, that's like Coffins or something like that. That's one of it was one of my favorite songs. Actually, it's, he does a damn good job on that one. Nice. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So, anyways. You guys have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please leave us a comment on anything you want to hear us discuss, something you disagree with. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then, peace. peace.